Pentabarbital, in, on, ban, USAN, or pentabarbitone, former on and ban, is a short-acting barbiturate. Pentabarbital can occur as a free acid, but is usually formulated as the sodium salt, pentabarbital sodium. The free acid is only slightly soluble in water and in ethanol. One brand name for this drug is Nembutyl, coined by John S. Lundy, who started using it in 1930, from the structural formula of the sodium salt, Na sodium plus ethyl plus methyl plus butyl plus al common suffix for barbiturates. Nembutyl is trademarked and manufactured by the Danish pharmaceutical company Lundbeck, now produced by Acorn Pharmaceuticals, and is the only injectable form of pentabarbital approved for sale in the United States. In high doses, pentabarbital causes death by respiratory arrest. In the United States, the drug has been used for executions of convicted criminals. Lundbeck, one of many manufacturers, does not permit its sale to prisons or corrections departments to carry out the death penalty. Uses Medical Typical applications for pentabarbital are sedative, hypnotic for short term, pre anesthetic, and control of convulsions in emergencies. It is also used as a veterinary anesthetic agent. Pentabarbital also has an application in reducing intracranial pressure in RISE syndrome, traumatic brain injury, and induction of coma in cerebral ischemia patients. Pentabarbital induced coma has been advocated in patients with acute liver failure refractory to mannitol. Euthanasia Pentabarbital can induce death when used in high doses. It is used for euthanasia for humans as well as animals. It is also used by itself, or in combination with complementary agents such as phenytoin, in commercial animal euthanasia injectable solutions. In the Netherlands, the standard protocol for physician-assisted suicide is to provide 9 grams of pentabarbital sodium along with sugar syrup in a 20% ethanol solution for self-administration by the patient. The oral dosage of pentabarbital indicated for physician-assisted death in the United States states of Oregon, Washington, Vermont, and California as of January 2016 is typically 10 grams in liquid form. This is considerably higher than the dose for the management of status epilepticus. Execution Pentabarbital has been used or considered as a substitute for other drugs traditionally used for capital punishment in the United States when they are in short supply. Such use however is illegal under Danish law, and when this was discovered, after public outcry in Danish media, Lundbeck, the owner of the drug, stopped selling it to U.S. states that impose the death penalty. U.S. distributors of the drug are forbidden by the owner to sell it to any customers, such as several state authorities, that practice or participate in executions of humans. Texas began using pentabarbital for executing death row inmates by lethal injection on July 18, 2012. The use of pentabarbital has been considered by several states, including Ohio, Arizona, Idaho, and Washington. Those states made the decision to switch following shortages of pancuronium bromide, a muscle relaxant previously used as one component in a three-drug cocktail. In October 2013, Missouri changed its protocols to allow for a compounded pentabarbital to be used in a lethal dose for executions. On November 20, 2013, Joseph Paul Franklin was executed by the state of Missouri. He was the first inmate executed in three years in the state and the first to die by a single dose of pentabarbital. Metabolism Pentabarbital undergoes first-pass metabolism in the liver and possibly the intestines. Drug interactions Administration of ethanol, benzodiazepines, opioids, antihistamines, other sedative hypnotics, and other central nervous system depressants will cause possible additive effects. Chemistry Pentabarbital is synthesized by methods analogous to that of amobarbital, the only difference being that the alkylation of alpha-ethylmalonic ester is carried out with 2-bromopentane, not 1-bromo-3-methylbutane, to give pentabarbital. References